What's up YouTube, Junkercraft here. Today I'm working on my second worm farm. I started my first one about mm, five months ago. We should have plenty of worms to work with, so let's get right into it. Today we're gonna be working with just uh, two large totes. I got these at Sam's Club, they're very cheap. A little bit of cardboard and a drill. Here's the first worm farm I made. It's pretty simple. I just have two buckets resting on top of each other and then they drain into this other bucket that's upright. I wanna copy this design, just do it with a little bit larger totes. Construction for a worm bin is really easy. Set aside our cardboard and the lids. We'll use them a little bit later. Now we just need drill and only one of our bins, depending on how many tiers you wanna have on your worm bin. For me, I'm just gonna start with one tier because you need a lot of compost to be able to feed multiple bins. When I'm making worm bins, what I do is I turn the bin upside down and then I just drill into it. So let's get started. For this part, I'm drilling a ton of little drainage holes. Apparently worms can breathe underwater for about two weeks, but if that water doesn't go anywhere, they will drown. So this part is super important. Guys, I flipped it over. Now I want to put three holes right here just so our worms get enough airflow. That's plenty good. Okay, we're almost done. Last thing we need to do is just put a few holes in our cardboard. If we don't put holes in our cardboard, the water will not be able to seep through and our worms will drown. Make sure you shove your cardboard all the way to the very bottom of the tote. To get enough drainage, I drilled and then I sliced the cardboard a bunch of times. Here's our tote that we didn't drill into. I took two large bricks and I laid them at the bottom of this tote. Those two bricks will allow us to stack another tote on top of this one and allow the worm juice to collect in the area below. Last thing we need to do is start layering compost and then we can put our worms on top of it. Here are my red wrigglers. They seem really happy. I bet they're excited to be getting a new home. I know I am. Starting off at the bottom of our worm bin, we're gonna be adding this pile of compost. Then we'll be adding some coffee grinds and then other compost products. Let's get started. I always get so paranoid making videos in my backyard. I'm pretty sure my neighbors think I'm schizo talking to myself. Oh well, the important thing is our worms are getting a new home. Okay, we've added everything. Now we can just add the top. And our worm farm is completed. Okay guys, this is the final resting place of the worm farm. I already hear it dripping into the bottom collection area. Ooh, it is hot outside, guys. Now, if you live in a hot climate like I do, make sure you put your worms in a shaded area so they don't shrivel up and die. Well, that's everything for this episode. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Um, I'll probably be back in like six months with another worm-related video. So, um, see you then. Peace out.